Hey there, Capricorn. Welcome to Divine Conversations and welcome to your monthly message for the month of April of 2022. Thank you guys so very much for tuning in. So please keep in mind, Capricorn, that this is a general reading. So please take what resonates and leave what doesn't. And also just because this is kind of dated for the month of April of 2022, it does not mean that it absolutely has to resonate for you at that time or at this time, okay? This is just whatever messages spirit wants to bring to you or deliver to you at this time on this monthly basis. Yes? Let's dive right into this Capricorn. I'm going to get started with the animal spirit guides, give this a few shuffles, and we will see what messages we have for you this month. Here we go. Five shuffles for you, Capricorn. One. What's going on for Capricorn this month? Or what messages do we have for Capricorn at this time? This is two. What clarity do you want to bring to Capricorn at this time? This is three. Capricorn, I'm seeing green for you. Four. Um, uh, what I'm hearing about this is clarity within your heart space. This is five. In some cases, <laughs> in some cases, uh, please... Please don't take this the wrong way. I mean this with all the love in the world, but it kind of feels like for some of you, you're kind of gaining a heart or what I'm really hearing is, and maybe whatever, that's kind of a backhanded way of saying that. Okay. Um, I will say that some people around you that might know you, if you're going through this, they may say that to you jokingly. Okay. Uh, but what I'm really, the, what I'm really hearing for you, Capricorn, is that you're, you're gaining a, a shit ton of emotional clarity within your heart center. So some of you are getting very much connected to your emotions. I'm kind of seeing Queen of Cups energy for you right now, getting very connected to your emotions, um, either for the first time or in ways that you haven't been able to in the past. Um, uh, for some of you, I'm hearing you're getting connected to your heart center or your emotions in ways that you should have been all along. Um, there's a, a lot of emotional clearing, emotional cleansing, emotional healing that's happening for you, but that's because for some reason or somehow your heart is opening up. I'm hearing is uncaging. Okay. So let's see what, uh, animal messages we have. What do the animal spirits have for you at this time? Capricorn. Okay, getting a higher perspective here. We do have Hawk, all right? There is definitely um, a higher wisdom perspective, uh, spiritual guidance. Um, I feel like Hawk here um, represents a level of your ancestors coming through for you. Some of you may be connecting with the ancestors. Some of you may be getting down to the bottom of certain family histories that you maybe never knew of, um, you just found out about. Some of you may even be uh, connecting with your ancestry uh, uh, um, specifically or consciously. Like you're, I don't know, like you're going on, um, you did like the, what you did ancestry.com and now you're really starting to learn the deep depths of your ancestry or your family lineage. And for some of you, that's what's connecting you to your heart center. Um, or for some of you, that's what's opening up your heart center. For some of you, that is a result of your, your heart opening up. You wanting to learn more about your family history and your family lineage. I do feel for some of you, your ancestors are heavily involved with that. Okay. Whether it's, whether it's through generations or whether it's just like a few generations back. The next card you do have here is elephant. Okay. First thing I'm hearing or I want to say about elephant is the elephant never forgets. At the bottom of the deck, I am going to take this. You do have lamb. And then you also have owl, which is sneaking in here, okay? That is definitely representing divine wisdom, all right? What you need to understand right now, Capricorn, is that whatever it is you're going through emotionally or in ways that your heart is opening up here, um, it's absolutely divinely orchestrated. This owl that's at the bottom of the deck, I don't necessarily want to take it, but I am showing it to you because you need... To, spirit is coming through saying there is, there's more to life than just the physicality. For some of you, you need to understand that or you're getting to or starting to understand that there are much higher powers at play here. And that absolutely could be something that your ancestors are trying to influence within you. Um, some of you actually have, woo, some of you actually have um, strong spiritualists, maybe even witches, people in your ancestry that practice the, the spiritual arts that were not very religious that were more spiritual, more woo-woo, I guess you would call it, um, which some of this kind of feels out of place as I'm speaking to to some of you because there's like, there's a conflict here. It's like, 
you're not, or you're getting more in touch with like the quote woo woo side of things, but you're here watching a tarot reading. I don't know. Take it as it resonates for you. Um, okay. But also finally you do have lamb here, which is getting you connected with a level of innocence. Some of you are reclaiming your innocence. Some of you with hawk and the elephant here, I feel like hawk and the elephant are the, are the animal guides or the spirit guides that are guiding you through whatever change in your heart space is happening. You, specifically Capricorn, feel like you are resonating with the energy of the lamb. There is a level of innocence you are regaining here, whether it has to do with your family ancestry and maybe some of their the, the magical components or magical practices that some of your ancestry ha has um, honed and you're getting in touch with that or you're just getting in touch with your lineage or you're just getting more in tune with your emotions. Either way, whatever this is for you right now, Capricorn, you are regaining, reclaiming a sense of innocence here, okay? Innocence that you never really had, maybe that you always wanted. Some of you also are connecting with your inner child and reconnecting with some of the trauma from your childhood um, that maybe some of your, somebody in your ancestry, particularly a grandparent I'm picking up on, may have perpetuated. And you're going, starting to go through the process of healing that. Okay, let's get into your tarot here. Five shuffles. So what messages? We're going to get into your uh, your freestyle spread here, Capricorn. This is two. So what messages do we have? What clarity can we bring to Capricorn at this time? Please, Spirit, this is three. Four. For my Capricorn, Sun, Moon, Rising, and North Node. And this is five. All right. We're going to cut the deck here. Boop. All righty. Overall energy for you, Capricorn. We're starting you off with the Four of Cups. Mm-hmm. Reluctance. Uh, some of you are still in this level of reluctance, but I feel like this is the energy that you're kind of coming out of. Yep. Because underneath the Four of Cups is the Knight of Cups. And underneath the Knight of Cups is the Three of Pentacles. And then underneath the Three of Pentacles is, in fact, the Nine of Wands. Okay, Battered and Bruised. Yes, Wounded Warrior. Yes, some of you are really struggling with this. Yes. However, what I'm getting with the Nine of Wands energy is this very much like the Four of Cups here. This is a past energy. This is the energy that you used to be in of rejecting some sort of awareness of your emotional reality. And what I'm getting with this Capricorn, with this Nine of Wands specifically, is that you don't want to be in this energy of fighting against this any longer because you don't want to feel like this any longer. You don't want to be constantly, I don't know, feeling like you have to look over your shoulder or constantly feeling like you're fighting against something. The Nine of Wands is very much giving me um, uh, the monster that's under your bed or in your closet type of energy. But the thing about this, and that what I just heard is Capricorn, you have a realization here. The thing about this energy or the thing about this monster is that <clears throat> you're becoming aware of the more you run away from it, the more you hide it, the more you fight it, the stronger and stronger it gets. Some of you are starting to realize that you can't hide from this any longer because it's just going to keep chasing you and you don't want to have to run from it any longer. The Knight of Cups does feel like this energy of your heart opening up, but I feel specifically, Capricorn, that the Knight of Cups is an energy of an entity or an actual person in your life bringing you some sort of compassion and emotional awareness and emotional understanding. The Knight of Cups feels like it's very much connected to this Four of Cups energy. So this may have been the universe coming in trying to provide you with some sort of release within your heart space. You've been actively denying it up until now, but now you're in this energy of three of pentacles. I want to work on myself. I want to make myself better. I want to rebuild this foundation because I don't want to feel like this anymore. Nine of wands. Underneath the nine of wands is the seven of pentacles to the five of pentacles. Yes, there's absolutely an energy here, Capricorn, of you starting to recognize that the more you fight against these emotions, the stronger and stronger they get until you're just create ridiculously overwhelmed and drained and now you have no choice but to face them. And maybe that's where you are right now. Some of you are reaching that point. Some of you are starting to recognize that you're reaching your breaking point and you just don't want to, you're giving up the fight. Okay. 
This is not, this is really not bad. This is actually very, very good for you, Capricorn. Let's get into the rest of your reading here. So first half, second half of your reading. The first half of your reading is going to look at the current, and I'm sorry, the past leading up to the current energies where you currently find yourself. The second half of your reading is going to look at the current energies going off into the future. Yes? First set of surrounding energies for you, Capricorn, in the first half of your reading. Death. Transformation. So what I just heard for this death energy Capricorn is this was the realization that you could, this was the moment that you realized you could not escape this, you could not hide from this any longer. And I definitely feel like this is you here. I mean, look at, you see these three figures down here? You have the Pope, you have the, this, this woman who kind of looks like the Empress, and then you have this child. I feel like this is you kind of been pleading pleading with death or pleading with the, the universe here to not take you, to not let this change happen, to not to, to spare you, have mercy on you, blah, 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 blah. And even though this death energy seems really scary, ultimately there is nothing to it but to do it. The, really what I'm hearing and feeling this death figure say, energetically, physically, I don't know, but as this this figure of death approaches you, and you're pleading with them to stop chasing you, 1111 on the counter, to not make you go through this transformation. All death is really saying is, we just need you to face this. That's all. You're going to be much better off without all this pain, with all this strife, with all this burden, but you have to face this. And the only reason I, you have to face me, says death. And the only reason I look so scary right now is because you are wrapped up in fear and emotions that you have not handled, that you can no longer carry. And you've been pushing me away for so long that I'm just getting more and more powerful. And your fear has just been building and building and building until you have this irrational fear of me. But I'm really not here to hurt you. I'm here to help you, says death. This was that moment that you realized you had to face this. You could not run away from this any longer. And really, Capricorn, what it feels like here is the moment that you allowed yourself to accept the reality of needing to face this is instantly everything got lighter. I mean, it's not, obviously, you still have to go through the process of facing whatever it is or the process of transformation, but the moment that you allowed yourself to believe in the fact that you just had to face it was the moment that everything got started to get lighter. The pressure started to lift immediately. Death is coupled with the Queen of Wands. Okay. In order for you to receive victory... In order for you to get what it is that you want, in order for you to be in direct alignment with, number one, who it is you truly are, but also an understanding of what it is you truly want, in order for you to receive, you have to go through this transformation. Some of you, this is not as woo-woo as you communicating with the spirits. For some of you, this is as practical as realizing what is what exactly is standing in the way of your victory, and that is this transformative process. Okay. Second set of surrounding energies for you, Capricorn, in the first half. King of Cups, there you go. The emotional awareness. Now, funny thing is I was seeing the Queen of Cups for you when I was channeling before we got into the cards, and now here is the King of Cups. The King of Cups is the energy of, an, of the individual that is able to weather any storm, that faces their emotions, that owns their emotions, that knows what they're feeling is very emotionally mature, does something that they know they need to, do, need to do, even though it is not easy. The King of Cups and the Queen of Wands energy is a very good combination, very good combination, because that puts you in emotional, uh, in the emotional space to be in direct alignment with what it is you truly want here, okay? The King of Cups is coupled with, the, wow, Capricorn. You can't get any more blatant than that. The King of Cups to the Eight of Pentacles. This is absolutely an energy of you standing in your emotional power and saying, I know I need to do this work. I know it's not going to be easy. I know it's not going to happen overnight, but I need to do it. So I'm going to buckle down. I'm going to hunker down and I'm going to face these emotions or I'm going to do whatever it needs. I need to do to get this stronger level of self-mastery under control. I know y'all hear those chickens in the background, but I'm not even going to worry about it. Well, wait, hold on. I had to do something about that because they were literally right behind my apartment. Okay, let's move forward. But, 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 I mean, this is the emotional awareness, the emotional fortitude to like literally roll up your sleeves, Capricorn, and get what needs to be done, done, handled. Yes? 
your challenge in the first half of your reading here, Capricorn. The Hierophant. First thing I heard with the Hierophant is facing the music. Often I see the Hierophant as the tough lessons that we go through in the 3D world that are very much we like like there's no way around them we have to do them very much like what the hierophant typically represents which is kind of like dogma but also religion institutions uh social uh social constructs social contracts social norms um that kind of thing there's very much an energy here uh in terms of like you like there's no way forward capricorn without facing the music okay learning these tough lessons, going through this learning process. But that's really what we're here for, right? We, I, I mean, and it's not, it, it's not to say you can't go, you have to go through this because there's no other way around it just for shits and giggles. The universe isn't saying that, but what the universe is saying to us is we would not have incarnated here in these bodies as these certain individuals with these certain lessons or circumstances in our lives if there wasn't a reason for it. You can't, you can't skip the lessons, is what Spirit is saying here. So your challenge is literally going through the motions, doing what it needs to be done, doing what needs to be done, learning what needs to be learned for your own soul's growth so that you can move forward. The Hierophant is coupled with the Eight of Wands. Literally having to face the music so that you can move forward. The only way, the only way the way is going to be clear, the way ahead of you is going to be clear is if you learn, face the tough lessons that you may have been avoiding all along. I just heard just for shits and giggles. That's interesting. <laughs> okay. Your closing message, your potential outcome for you, Capricorn, in the first half of your reading, you have the seven of swords. Facing the deception, the lies, the trickery, the deceit. I really feel like, Capricorn, this Seven of Swords is your energy here. How you may have been deceiving yourself. How you may have been trying to get away with not facing what you truly need to, is, are meant to be facing here. You've been, this absolutely feels like your own energy. You've been stealing from yourself. You have been deceiving yourself by trying to, trying to get away with not learning these lessons. You literally have been cheating yourself here. Cheating yourself out of, out of some really strong exponential growth. Seven of Swords is coupled with, bam, the world. Favorable outcomes are to come from this Capricorn. I don't think you realized just how much you've been cheating yourself here. Because your world, your life, what I'm seeing with the world here, your life is about to become so much better. But it is only when you face the music so that you can complete the cycles so that you can move on. You have literally been cheating yourself here. But that is about to be, you're about to overcome that because it looks like now you're getting ready to actually to do the actual work or maybe you have been at this point. Okay, you've started doing the work. Excellent. Let's move forward. Let's get into the second half of your reading. So the second half of your reading is going to look at the current energies moving off into the future. Yes? First set of surrounding energies for you, Capricorn. In the second half, you have temperance. This is the level. This is the work, uh, the work, the alchemy. This is the, yes, this is the, the work of alchemy, of transmuting your life, of figuring things out, of facing the music, of going through the healing process. This takes time. This is not something you can rush. It's also not something you want to rush. I'm hearing and feeling actually you don't even want to rush this. I feel like at this point, Capricorn, you know exactly how important this work is, probably because you've been avoiding it for so long and you've been dealing with the effects of avoiding it for so long, you've gotten to a point where it's like, no, I really need to do this work and now I want to take the time to do it and do it correctly because I want my life to improve. I want my life to change. Okay. Temperance is coupled with... There is... Oh wait, before I go any further, I want to say temperance, this temperance card is bringing forward a hell of a lot of grace for you. 
Okay, this is definitely the universe coming through saying, yes, this is all we've wanted you to do all along. We're not even going, we're not trying to punish you or give you any sort of like detriment or delay you any longer. We just wanted this work to be done on your behalf. It's not even for us, says the universe. This is for you. And so once you accept that duty and start doing that work and start working on getting in that alignment, the universe has all the grace for you. <laughs> okay. No hate, no judgment, no shame, no fear, nothing. Just pure, unadulterated, unconditional love and grace for the road ahead, for the process you are going through of transmuting your life and your energies and your circumstances so that you can be in greater alignment for what it is you truly want. This is what the universe wants for all of us. Temperance is coupled with judgment. The time is now. beautiful it literally capricorn is a fact of the moment you accept this transmutation the moment you accept the duty of taking on this realchemizing of yourself is the moment that the universe blows the horns and all of the gates start to open up for you all of the blockages start to be lifted all the fear and anxiety subsides and you're ready to move forward. Now is the time. And I feel I, I don't feel like this is the universe coming to you like a, with the wake up call saying, wake up Capricorn, let's go. No, what I feel like this is, is you saying to yourself, I'm ready to do this. Or you settling into the energy or the awareness of I got to work on this stuff. At that moment, that's when the universe starts to sound the alarm and say, all right, everyone, let's get with it. Capricorn is ready. Excellent. Second set of surrounding energies for you, Capricorn, in the second half of your reading. The Queen of Swords, discernment. Oh, yes. This is that, this, mm, I'm hearing tough, loving type of energy. This is tough love. I mean, really, in all honesty, the Queen of Pentacles is tough love quote unquote, because the queen of pentacles is way more compassionate and way more emotionally um, aware or willing to deal with emotions to a certain extent, at least way more than the queen of swords, right? The queen of swords here, this is like unabashed discernment. It's either a yes or a no. There are no emotions involved. involved. Does it stay or does it go? And if it goes, it goes. There is no arguing. Okay, if it if you if you sift through it and you realize or you come to the conclusion that this needs to go, it is immediately cut out. No questions asked, and we continue forward. No looking back. No questions asked. No pity party. None of that. Part of me feels like this is absolutely your energy that you're embodying here, because you're ready to deal with this. You're ready to cut it to the quick. You're ready to get rid of anything that has been holding you back or anything that needs to be dealt with at this time. Pure, 100% unadulterated discernment. Queen of Swords is coupled with, bam, the hanged man. Now, for some of you here, you're adopting this Queen of Swords energy because you have been in this, this state of um, confusion, I'm hearing, yes, of flux, okay, uh, but flux not in a good way, just like swishing, sw wishing, uh, going back and forth in a really unfavorable energy, not really getting anything done, not really accomplish anything, not really moving forward in any way, but just stuck in this, this soup or this swamp or this cesspool of emotional trickery, I'm hearing, okay? But also, for some of you, take it as it resonates, but the other thing that I'm feeling here with this hanged man and queen of swords energy is um, you have the awareness, you have the change in perspective that is allowing you to really take on this strong level of discernment. Very good, Capricorn. Beautiful. I'm definitely seeing you as the queen of swords here. Okay? Excellent. Excellent. Now, that doesn't mean that emotions aren't involved. It doesn't, okay? But what I'm, what I'm getting with this Queen of Swords energy is mostly that you're just, you're cutting things to the quick. 
okay? And you're very serious about it, all right? You're not wasting any time. You're not trying to be foolish about it. You're not trying to cut any corners. You're doing the damn thing and you're doing a real good job of it or you intend to do a real good job of it. And that is mostly due to the fact that, yes, you have been in this state of, um, what is this? This state of stasis or stagnancy. That's the word I'm looking for. You've been in this stagnant state for long enough to really see things from a very different perspective. And mostly what I'm feeling here, Capricorn, is that perspective is I don't want to be here any longer. Well, that is good enough. <laughs> your challenge, Capricorn, in the second half of your reading here. Oh, there's the tower. Bam. Yep. The tower is falling. The situation is coming to a close. The, uh, the, the ideals, the relationships, the belief systems, whatever it is you've been holding on to, the excuses you've been making, it's all coming down. It's all coming down. And yeah, that is your challenge here because not only for some of you, the challenge is allowing it to fall down. For others of you, the challenge is to tear it down yourself. But also there is a level here of um, the universe coming in and doing some of this for you. Dealing with the sudden changes in your life. The tower is coupled with the ace of wands. So your challenge here, Capricorn, is to allow what needs to fall to fall so that you can have the clear, open availability, energetic availability, uh, energetic space to move forward with the new that does, in fact, inspire you or is inspiring you. For some of you, the challenge is also to allow the tower to fall so that you can get down to the bottom of what it is you truly want to move forward with. This is definitely clearing space. It's not a, not to say that this isn't a challenging situation, Capricorn, but because it is, but also there is a level here of you wanting to do this and that makes it a little bit easier for you. Again, that King of Cups energy, yes? Closing message or potential outcome for you, Capricorn, in the first half of your reading, Seven of Cups. Dealing with the emotions, dealing with the confusion, dealing with the things that have been swept under the rug. The Seven of Cups energy absolutely reflects what I was seeing for you in the beginning of this heart chakra awareness, of your heart uncaging, of you finally sifting through everything that you've been avoiding. I know this doesn't necessarily seem like a good outcome, but the fact that you're facing this, instead of, instead of going with the Seven of Swords energy of deceiving yourself, thinking you can get away with not facing these things, Instead, you're facing it. That is what's bringing you this favorable outcome predicted here by the wheel of, I'm sorry, by, oh, I wanted to say the wheel of fortune, but the world. Okay. Seven of cups is coupled with the devil. There you are, Capricorn. Technically, that's your energy. Uh, but you're facing the chains that bind you. Okay, and you're and by facing the chains that bind you, this provides you with an ability to release yourself from those bindings. The devil only has control over you if you hand him that control. If you allow him to put those chains around your neck, around your ankles, around your hands, those shackles on you and lead you forward in the way that the devil wants you to go forward, the day the way the devil leads you forward. But if you take your power back, if you do the work that's necessary, you will no longer have anything for the devil to hold on to you by. And that's exactly what's bringing this favorable outcome for you. I love this, Capricorn. This is absolutely beautiful. Let's close out your reading. I want to get you some closing messages here from the Crystal Mandala deck. Yes? All right, Capricorn. Five shuffles here. One. Two. Closing message from my Capricorns, please, Spirit. Three. Four. And five. All right, Capricorn. Let's close this out for you here. Closing message, please, Spirit. There it is right there. Oh, my God. Yes. Card number 36. Ascended Master Mataji and Crimson Cuprite, Relief and Repair. 
I swear, guys, you can't make this stuff up. Did I say 26? I, I meant to say 36, but I don't know. Whatever. Okay. <laughs> Let's read this for you, Capricorn. We bring you the blessing of relief and repair. Our warmth and nurturing will restore and rebalance your body, mind, and soul when the light of spirit burns too brightly. Spiritual light is like the light of the sun. It brings life and joy, but too much can burn. If that happens to you, you will feel overwhelmed, overheated, overexcited, or overstretched mentally, physically, or emotionally. We will help you recover and increase your ability to be exposed to spiritual light again in future without becoming overloaded or burnt out. We ask you to soften and relax into our rich red energy now, which nurtures you with the cooling, restorative life force of the Earth Mother. We shall help you naturally discharge excess energy whilst we revive, strengthen, and fortify you with our natural grace. I want to read this one last part for you here. The Oracle of Relief and Repair comes with a message about your spiritual growth. You may or may not be aware of it, but you are learning to call more spiritual light into your body, your mind, and your life. Perhaps you have been praying to the universe more, asking for help. Perhaps you have been meditating more often or reading spiritual books and opening your mind to new levels of consciousness. Or perhaps your soul has just been growing, even if you don't quite know why it is happening or recognize it consciously. This is all good. However, your body needs time to adjust to the increase in light. If you just keep going without taking a short break, it would be like continuing to eat and eat and eat without taking time to digest and eliminate between meals. Although you may be eating a very good quality meals in time, it wouldn't matter. You would just, it would just become too much. The oracle, this oracle also indicates that any situation that may appear to be never ending is not so, and any brokenness of heart or will, defeat or apparent failure can and will be resolved and restored through the hand of her radiant grace. She will bestow her blessing of relief and repair upon you and your life situation. Allow her grace to resolve your life circumstances as she sees fit so you can be revived by the rich, warm life force, by her rich, warm life force. When the Divine Mother turns her attention to a matter, there is no such thing as a lost cause or inevitable defeat. Her ways are many and her resources great. When she decides to animate something that may have otherwise seemed devoid of life, her power is that of the phoenix rising again after all has seemed lost. Allow her to serve your body, mind, and spirit in the way that best serves you now. Surrender to her tender, loving care. So there you have it, Capricorn. Thank you all so very much for tuning in. I hope this was helpful for you. I hope you have a fantastic month, and I look forward to connecting with you again for our next reading very soon. Yes? Excellent. Bye.